Hello and welcome to another video from How to Webmaster. Today I am reviewing this TikTok script by PHP Statistics and I will be also setting this up on my website. This TikTok PHP script is about seeing stats and analytics for any public TikTok user. So for instance here we can search for an account and when you start typing in some letters, you see a list of users and we can just click on any one of them to load up their account and you will see some details like followers, videos, how many total likes they have and you can even compare different users. So before we do that, let's look at some more statistics like follower growth. You can see here the trend for this and you can set the last 30 days or custom um, dates as you want. So this is for the last 30 days and you can do a growth graph. How many growth followers each day join this account and following videos they posted. So you can see how many videos they posted each day and growth of likes and a summary right here. And you can compare different accounts. So between this account and this other user. Okay, let's try that. Compare. And you can see here, you can make a comparison between the two accounts here. So that's pretty nice. And you can see a chart for both accounts. So this one is actually pretty far apart. Not very comparable, but you get the idea. And you can build a website just like this with PHP statistics, TikTok analytics script right here. And you can get it from Code Canyon. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out and also the demo as well. And here's the features. And you can have other uh, users sign up at your site as well. And you can even charge them for access. And here's some pretty cool features. You can export the, the data as a PDF or CSV file. You can download the music or video right there. It's SEO friendly and all these other features like Facebook login. You can translate it to a different language. Lifetime free updates, open source for you to customize however you like. And I'm gonna show you how to set this site up as well. And if you want to check out the admin or user account, let's check it out. Okay, you can log in by simply clicking on the sign in button down here and then enter in the demo account information, admin and admin. Okay, there it is. Now let's try to enter in the administration dashboard right there. You can see here, you can make new plans, payment options, website settings, like changing the website title, the default language. Uh, default theme so let's go with dark changing logos and things like that so overall it has a nice back-end system for you to customize without having coding experience so that's really nice okay let's go ahead and set this up right now once you make your purchase log into your code canyon account in your account here look for the php statistics script that you just bought click download right here all files and documentations and this will download everything. There it is. All right, once it's done downloading, here's the zip file that was just downloaded right here. Open that up and then drag the package folder out to your computer, desktop, or a folder. Okay, once it's dragged out, you can close the zip file. Let's open up the package. Okay, let's check out the readme file right here. And for the documentation, you can head over to this website right here. This is the documentation website link. It tells you how to, um, this tutorials on how to use it, how to install it. Okay, since this is the first time installing this script, there's no need for the updating or how to update. You don't need those. You, can, you will need to look at them later in the future when you update or upgrade the sites. Usually the updating is easier than the installation so don't worry about that. Anyhow, let's go to the product folder right here. This is what you need to upload to your web server right here. 
you can do this multiple ways you can upload this via FTP program with something like FileZilla but for me I like to do it from the cPanel file manager I find it more convenient okay so first I need to zip this up just all the files that I need to upload so let's zip this up and you can use WinRAR, WinZip or 7-Zip they're free and then simply just make a zip file with all these files right here okay there it is and I'm going to upload this to my server okay back to the documentation here let's scroll down and down here installation okay so basically we need to make a MySQL database and then upload the files so let's do that right now okay here is my cPanel for my web hosting account the majority of web hosting companies out there use this cPanel so your control panel should look similar to this as well okay first thing you want to do is go to software and find something that says select PHP version and if you don't have this feature you're gonna need to contact your hosting provider and make sure they enable these requirement for your server so make sure they have PHP 7.4 and then these extensions right here okay back to the cPanel here under the PHP selector you can actually set your own PHP version so the requirement is 7.4 so we need to select 7.4 right there and then click on set as current and there it is 7.4 is set to the current version and now go to extensions and we need to enable curl open SSL MB string and MySQL MB string is good right here the check mark mean it is enabled and now we need to enable this right here MySQL LI okay it can't be used or it conflicting with the ND MySQL so we need to uncheck that and now check the MySQL with the LI there it is okay open SSL and curl is not in this list okay we just won't worry about that for now let's go back to the cPanel now let's upload with the file manager right here now you want to upload everything to the public HTML folder right here and this is a brand new fresh website there's nothing on it if you currently have a website make sure to upload to a subfolder or a subdomain so that way it won't overwrite your website okay so here just upload click on the upload button right there and then drag and drop the new zip file of everything here and let's drop it here or you can click here to select the file and here it is uploading okay while that is uploading let's go to the databases right here click on my SQL databases create a new database just enter in a database name and then click on create okay it's been added let's go back now scroll to the bottom where it says add new user and then enter in a username and password okay just like that and create user okay successfully created the user let's go back and now we need to add the user to the database go all the way down here it says right here add user to database select the user and then select the database there should be only one anyways for each okay click on add and here you will need to add all privileges and then click on make changes okay success okay now back at the uploading of the zip file everything is good 100% let's go back here it is now just need to select the zip file and click on extract right there extract the files it will take a second there it is everything is uploaded and extracted now we can delete the zip file we don't need it anymore let's delete that okay back to the documentation here we already uploaded the, the product files and made the database and now you need to change the permission for these folders and files to at least 775 or 755 let me show you okay right here as you can see folders and files there's a permission column right here 755 as default for most servers but the config file is 644 so we need to you can do a right click 
change permission okay just all you have to do is check this box right here execute and then execute for the group execute for the world and now it's 755 click on change permission and there it is 755 for the config.php and because everything else all the other folders are default to 755 already you don't need to mess around with those and if there's a problem later then we can change it to these other permissions later on okay next step start the installation process go to your website and go to the install folder so here's the example and then follow the installation process okay so here's my website stats.fan and then slash install and slash so this is the install folder if you go here you can see there's an install folder so that's where we're accessing right now and here's the welcome screen and the installation steps let's start the installation right there and just click on I agree and here it'll do one last check so this is already enabled as default that's good and all these other things I already enabled it from the select PHP in my cPanel earlier and again if these are not enabled for your own server then you just contact your host and they will enable it for you so all the check marks are good let's click on next okay here is telling you to enter in your license so this is in your account at Envato or Code Canyon if you go to the download button right here you can select this right here license certificate and purchase code that's your license open that up find your license key and then copy it okay after entering your license key up there scroll down here to the database and this was made right here so let's copy down the username right there and then next oh the username is actually right here and then the database itself is right there let's copy that and the host 99% of the time is going to be local host just like that and the password this is to the database that was created okay next website URL okay just enter it your website and if it's under subdomain make sure you enter in the subdomain just like this example or folder then enter it just like that and down here you this is optional you can enter in your email and name to receive special promotions from the developer of the script okay click on finish installation okay that's a good sign right here congratulations the installation has been successful now we visit the website okay there it is everything looks exactly like the demo and the admin first time is right there admin and the same password so let's go and do a sign in right there okay and then enter in the username and password let's do a login okay the first thing you want to do is head over to your admin panel right here and then change out your password from admin to something else different click on users right there and then click on these three vertical dots and then click on edit scroll all the way down change out your password and right away you can actually start looking up accounts by heading to your website so my website is right here stats.fan and you can enter in a search for any account okay I'll just look up this example account right here and you can see it works right off the bat giving you the just the regular public stats however there's no history yet at the moment since this user was just added to the database so there won't be any history of the stats yet okay so that's it for this part one tutorial I'm going to be making a, a part two on adding more settings and adding things like Google Analytics advertisements and other customizations so stay tuned for that and be sure to subscribe to my channel how to webmaster for more updates tips tricks and tutorials let me know if you guys have any questions thanks again and until next time happy marketing